Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are going to start March out on the right foot. We're going to the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Tampa, Florida. This is the place that you saw me do a video at probably four or five weeks ago. We're looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So make sure you hit that notification bell and click all so you don't mess it on my live buy nows and auctions of purses, jewelry, and other things. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks in advance and hit a thumbs up for this video. So this will go out later this evening, but this right here is my most favorite thrift store. There's two in the area. They always have lots of purses. Not sure what we're gonna find in here, but we've always had good luck so far. So definitely starting March with a bang, cash only. So if you're coming in for the first time, make sure you bring plenty of cash. They don't take any credit. And it is a huge store. I'm gonna show you. If you're looking for clothes, they've got it here too. And the first thing we're running on to is this beautiful coach. Look at this baby. So I mean, my gosh, we walk right in the door and the first thing we come to is this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coach here. Not anything wrong with this at all. And we are taking this one home. Not any rubs whatsoever. Now that's what I call starting March out with a bang right there. That's so awesome. Here's your tag. Look at the inside of this. And I'm prepared today. I brought cash. There is not a stain one inside this bag. Look at this. A little bit of dust. No stains. Y'all yeah, will see that in a sale soon. Or on eBay or both. And then next to that you have some Tory and Burt. Tory Burt shoes. But they're not in that great of condition. There's a little bit of peeling on them. So this place is a designer's dream designer haul dream love this bag right here next up don't believe it to be real but it sure makes your heart race doesn't it not real This is not a designer purse, but it's made out of rubber, so this is definitely weatherproof. That'd be a great bag. Crossbody to carry if you're on vacation. So they have purses all over these racks here, and then they'll have them behind the jewelry counter also. Christian Soriano. Now that's a beautiful bag right there. I never buy this brand, but I like that bag. Look at this. We may get this one, so we're gonna carry this around just a little bit in case we get it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. And you've got this Kate Spade. It's got a little bit of issue right there. A lot of issue with the handle for that reason. We're gonna pass on that one. Another Kate Spade. Pretty good condition on the inside. Another Kate Spade here, tote. The inside of this one's okay. What is this one right here? This is Spartina. I can tell by the mermaid. So Spartina runs expensive. We're gonna look at the inside and see the condition of this. I don't think I've ever bought a Spartina and sold before. No rubs on it. I say rubs, it's no stains. Looking at the inside, really good condition. No stains, not even an ink stain. We're gonna comp this one to see if we pick it up. So Spartina 449, what I know about Spartina is, apparently, and I have to look it up again, that was the street and then the house number where the uh, designer first started making these bags was 449. Y'all can look that up, but I believe that's a story I'd read before, and y'all can comment below and let me know. Not only do they have jewelry in here, they also have, um, I'm sorry, not only do they have purses, they have jewelry. 
This is a really, you know, minus the fact that you can't see the Kate Spade there. This is in good condition on the outside. The inside has a little bit of dirt. I'm not sure I may want to carry this around and comp it. It's good condition right there. And look at this cute dooney. I'm telling you they get the most amazing conditioned purses in here that I've ever seen. Handles great condition. I've never seen a dooney like this. Isn't this beautiful? Let's see what the inside looks like. The inside's just a little dusty. Just needs to be cleaned. I don't see any stains. We're gonna carry this one around. We'll comp it a little bit and see if we're gonna get it. Now, if you're ready for spring, I heard color is in this year. This is a beautiful coach. Great condition on the outside. Show you up close. Wow to the wow. Kiss lock on the center. This has a little bit of dust on it. I don't think anybody used it. I think they probably just bought it and stored it. Let's look at the bottom. This might be another one we pack up. I'm gonna take out this, see what it looks like. Gorgeous. Inside is our brown. I love brown and blue together. There's the tag, not a stain one. Like I said, this is, I would consider this new without tags. A little bit of chrome on the inside. So I think we're gonna maybe get this one. We're gonna see, we're gonna hang on to it, comp it at the end, see what kind of bag this is. I know it's coach, not sure of the style, never seen this before all leather tufted there and on the wall over there i see a louis vuitton bag and a backpack i've been looking for a backpack what's this beautiful red leather bag is this real leather now that's gorgeous y'all know red is one of my favorite colors I wonder if it's a designer brand or an unsigned beauty oh it's talbot's it's pretty nice it's all leather wow okay i've never sold a talbot's before talbot's is definitely High end. The condition is good. Talbots. Oh, so it is. It's leather. This is a tote. This is a beautiful tote. I think we're gonna get that, that's beautiful. If y'all saw the red, white, and blue, you'd just be absolutely in love. It is an adrenaline rush like you've never had before. It is definitely the purse jewelry superstore. Okay, this right here, Solina, S-O-L-I-N-A. Never heard of that before. Love the design on this, love the handles. Hoping this is leather, even if it's not, I'm probably gonna pack this one up for resale, ladies. If you do see something in this video that you're interested in, shoot me an email, thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. I will give you a quote before. As long as the video is current and I can put my hands on these items, I don't mind emailing you a price quote. So if you see something that you like, give me a timestamp, send that in an email to me, and I'll definitely quote you. But only if the video is a day or two old. Anything older than that is going to be hard to get because it's probably in inventory or has been sold. But if you can get me a timestamp and a video a day or two, no guarantees, but I'll do my best to get you a quoted price. Let's see. So I'm hoping this is leather. Really hoping this is leather. It is. It's genuine leather. This is the brand, Selena. Look at the inside condition here. No stains, I love that design on the front. So for that reason, this is just a great purse, leather and everything. And because of this absolutely beautiful gold foil paint and printed design, we are gonna get this bag, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, what a gorgeous bag, love it. And look here, I'm telling you, I have a adrenaline rush going like nobody's business. Here's another beautiful coach. Brown soft leather. Never seen this style before. And you have the beautiful brass hardware there. Let's look at the condition of this. Decide if we want to pack this one up or not. Looks good on the outside. Spot right there. 
couple spots there, not a big deal. The bottom is in great condition. Let's look at the inside. I'm not kidding when I say I have to, oh wow, look at this. Inside doesn't come out. There's no stains in there, not even dirt. No ink stains. Let's look at this side here. Can forgive the ink stains. Oh wow, perfect condition. Let's look at this center zip. Uh huh. So no stains whatsoever. Not even an ink stain. I don't even see dust. Perfect condition. And there's the serial number on that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. Love it, love it, love it. So glad I came here today to start March out on the right foot. So this beautiful coach bag right here is going home with CJ, as we say, if y'all are new to the channel. That's what we say. So hopefully this will go up on eBay soon. But again, email me today. Send me an email, thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. Give me a timestamp. I'll quote you a price. If I didn't end up buying the item, I will let you know in that email. Now let's go see if we can find more purses. So they don't have as many up today as they normally do. That's okay. Because we're still finding a lot. And I did not check this one out just a minute ago. Oh, it's Pier 1 Imports. Was this just put up here? Did we look at this? I don't think we looked at this one. It looks like it's new. At least it's still got the plastic on the front. What is this here? Rebecca Minkoff, where have you been all my life? So this right here can be probably cured with just... I'm a good leather cleaner. It's got a little bit of rub there on the front. Bottom looks good. Let's look at the sides. Beautiful Rebecca Minkoff purse right there. Let's look at the inside and see what that looks like. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well. Look at this. And this is padded right here like you could put your laptop. Let's look at this other side here. This is all leather. Smells new. Let's look at the tag down here. Oh my goodness. Genuine leather. Let me zoom in on that for you so you can see. Oh, my heart's racing. So my heart is racing. We have already picked up about eight purses in a matter of 12 minutes. And that Rebecca Mink off right there is pretty, pretty. So we've picked up nine purses already in 13 minutes. We're gonna go look at the whatnots now. And I missed this purse right here. They just put this out while I wasn't looking. What is this? So Mondani, gonna pass on that one. Simulated leather, love pink. I think I saw this before. Not sure which purse is my favorite so far because they're all so great and different. We're going to check out their briefcases, too. I didn't do that last time. So, Under Armour. Look at this Under Armour duffel. Do these sell for anything good? I don't know. I know Under Armour is good. This looks like a clean gym bag. I don't know. What do y'all think? Should we pack up something like that every now and then and sell it or not? What kind of shoes are these? I love their displays. These are Stacy Adams love their display the way they display the store i'll take a look at the shoes real quick i don't usually buy shoes though it's a nautica but look how big this store is look how big this store is and look at all these clothes look at all the choices of clothes y'all have if you're shop for those for resale or to buy they have whatnots doodads and trinkets all over this place i'm telling you you won't make it out of here. I like looking at leather jackets. I don't resell those either, but look at this one. This one kind of spotted my eye. This is heavy. $29. Everything is nicely color-coded. But yeah, you could probably find a lot of great things in here in the clothing if you're a reseller of clothing. 
me, my passions, bags and jewelry, whatnots and doodads. So looking at these, I'd be more prone to buy leather, but I'm still gonna look at them because who knows what may be hidden in here. I'm telling you, they have some beautiful Louis Vuittons. You don't wanna miss that. It's up behind the jewelry counter. We are gonna look at those. And I see a backpack and I've always wanted a backpack, whether it's authentic or not. This is something that I had spotted my old Puma leather. This is brand new, $5.99, mega filled binder, top pick for school it says. And you've got all their whatnots. Who knows, you gotta look carefully. Look at this perfume bottle. Isn't that beautiful? I'm chicken on a bicycle. Oh. Boys and heads, those are very collectible. These are all great. They have chips though. This one does not. American Airlines. Is that American Airlines Pilot? Is that what that is? Just so y'all know, these are made in England. And they're called Boysen Head. B-O-I-S-E-N. And he is a cutie. So the other two, I would buy those two had they not had chips. This one right here is perfect condition. So we may pick this one up. May. So again, Boysen Head. Worth getting if you ever find them. I mean, these aren't these are kind of chips chips in the paint off the nose i'm sorry i said b-o i spelled it wrong b-o-s-s-o-n-s bosons bosons head i'm telling you this store is such a rush oh what is this trinket box gorgeous a little uneven but i love this so made out of wood. Not sure what the outer layer is, but I still like that. I think that's really cute. So we're going to pack that one up. So I was going to hit several thrift stores today, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to the other one too. When I say other one, I mean I am going to the other red, white, and blue as well. Love, love, love. Gotta look carefully though. Like I run over things sometimes too quick. For myself, not for video, but I try not to do that because I don't want to mess anything. What do y'all know about these? So it's a whole set. Here's the base. There's the base. It's a whole set. I'm going to carry this around and check it out because I don't have a clue what that is. I don't know if I'm the purse king or what. Sometimes I feel like it with all the purses I've got. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding. Look at this beautiful box. And I've not sold a box this big before. And it's lightweight, though, so we might could get away with that. And it's on old rollers. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest box ever? Should we get that? I think so. Gorgeous. Will it fit in my Jeep? That's another story. Has a mirror in there, so it's a jewelry box. And there's the inside, so you have a compartment underneath. Take this out. Has elephants on top. We're gonna pack this one up. Oh, you're good, thank you. And it does lock. Beautiful. They also have tons of artwork. I don't need that either. About like I don't need all the stuff I buy, but you know what? We're getting it. 
This is $14.99, an oil painting for $14.99. Let's take a look at that real quick. Then we're going to continue to dig through the whatnots, doodads, trinkets, knickknacks, everything that we love. So take that all in. And I don't know who the artist is, but I'm sure y'all will tell me later. I probably should have gotten that one. Great for Florida. It's $15, $14.99. Oops. This is an oil painting. And I'm going to show you the artist's name. I don't know who that is. Something Tony. C. Tony. And look at the... Look at the... The detail there. Got a little flash of that ceiling, didn't you? Isn't that beautiful? C. Tony. More trinket boxes. Is this a scarab? Is this jade? This is cute. Very. It's some sort of stone. I've sold scarab jewelry before on my channel. I've never sold a piece of scarab like this. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to pack that one up and take it on home and put it in the next show, possibly. So this little scarab's going with us with all these purses. You saw that beautiful perfume bottle. Longhorn Wine Stopper Jet Blue Plain. Easter is around the corner. It already is. We are at Thrift Thrifting Together. It is already awesome. I don't think this is a perfume bottle. I don't know if it is or not. Let's see, is this old? I don't think this is old. I like it, but I just don't think I'm going to get that one. Today is awesome. Every day is awesome. Very old fabric coasters. I say very old. I don't know if they are or not. I take that back, but they're beautiful. Look like silk, maybe. this little guy old? I don't know if he is or not. Ooh. What do y'all know about this? What do you know about this? So this was a lamp and you can still rewire it. Isn't that gorgeous? So a lamp. sure of the material on the bottom it says WLK 15 so no designer mark except for that not sure what that means to me that's a fancy lamp after we leave that behind somebody's gonna be telling me I should have packed that up oh look at this paperweight it's an apple is this some sort of a gemstone I don't know and are paperweights in I think they might be in aren't they Apple paperweight. I have good intentions of getting to the other store, but it depends on how long we're in here. I'm definitely not going to rush it. But I would like to hit both of them today, honestly. Looks like something really great you can find in an antique store. Love that. Very awesome. I thought at first this might have been some sort of antique, but it's not. Look at this. A 
wine caddy. Is this old? It is JB1976. Okay, so is this a wine caddy? It says Gene Crafts. I know nothing about that either. First time I've seen that. If anybody ever tells you they know everything, they're not telling you the truth. Look at this, 1975 wine caddy. This is cute. I say wine caddy, I'm not sure. I don't think a bottle of wine fit in there. You know, it's probably a desktop pen and pencil holder and things like that. We may pack that one up. We're gonna check that out. Gonna try to find out who Gene Crafts is. What y'all think about that perfume bottle? Carousel horse. This right here says Mount St. Helens Sculptures. And this is really cute. Look at this. Just a girl and her cat. So this is probably pretty old. Has a little bitty chip right there. Not a chip, but probably a spot that needs to be painted on the ear. Oh well, I love that. So we're gonna we're gonna get that one. I love it. So is this dish old? I don't know. Paperweights, lots of paperweights all the time. A doggy bank. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Just showing you how much you can get in 30 minutes. Never know when they might be an old clock. Never know. Still look. Is this vase worth pecking up? Look at this. I'm going to show you the bottom. We're going to have to look it up. So I'm going to show you the bottom of this. Look at the bottom. So it says hole. H-U-L-L. -L. We got to do, do some research on this one because I am not sure. You could spy a purse anywhere in here. So you got to keep track. Look at all these old hats. Men's feather hats. You've got to look around because look at this one. I don't know if this is worth anything or not. Lead free, vegan. It's cute. Alyssa, Los Angeles, New York, Milan. But look at the bottom there. It's not good condition. But yeah, keep a lookout for purses anywhere. Lots of furniture. We're going back here to look at the kitchenware and some more knickknacks and doodads. Oh my gosh, ladies, I forgot. I thought we were done with the purses. Look. Well, we're not looking at knickknacks and doodads now. We're looking at more purses. Totally forgot they had them on the wall. You know, just what do you do? What do you do? On the edges there, I don't really look that good. Through these, I have found things. On this wall, I don't look that well either. I kind of just glaze over it real quick. Yeah, I totally forgot about the wall. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. We are starting March off right. We are. This is the right way to begin the month. I'm hoping that y'all all watch this video. Comment. 
What's this little baby hidden behind here? It's a little bit of leather and canvas. A little bit of leather and canvas. Look at that. What brand is this? I love this. Don't y'all love this? Crossbody strap. So I've never heard of this brand before. C-O-D-T-I-U-M, but I don't care. I like it. This is a great, this is a great man's messenger bag. We're gonna get that one. Leather and canvas. It's gonna start down here at the far end. What is this bag here? Fossil, look at that. Look how cute that is. We are just in so much trouble. I say we, yes. You guys too. It's called enabling. It's called enabling, yes. We're all in this together. It's called enabling. So we are in trouble. What is this one here? It does not have a designer mark on it. it doesn't always have to have, but I'd prefer. This Dooney, look at this Dooney here. That's a cute Dooney. Doesn't look like it really needs a lot of cleaning. Looking at the inside, the inside is also nice condition. I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to comp that one and see if we're gonna take that one. Let's look at the condition of this. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. Can't remember if these are real leather or not, but we're gonna find out. Great condition on the inside, it's polyurethane. Still pretty though, isn't it? Look at that. I'm passing on it though, I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna pass and look at this. Let's get, let's see what this beautiful red bag is. Okay, school me on it, y'all. School me on it, because I have seen this one before, this brand before. I don't think I've ever pecked it up though. But I have seen it before, Francesca Biagia. Great interior. Where's the tag? Let's see if this baby is leather. Let's see, please be, please be, because I don't think I've ever bought you before. That's not gonna say. There it is, genuine leather. Hmm. And it's a beautiful red. This one's in great condition. You got barely a rub right there. All leather, Francesca Biagia. I'm sure if I'm not saying it correctly, somebody will let me know. Look at that, that's a must get. That's a must get, so all leather. Beautiful, beautiful red. And we're in trouble. And again, it's called enabling. So if y'all sit and say, well, I'm not in trouble. I didn't make you do it. Yes, you did. This is Andy, A-N-D-E, A-N-D-E. These are vintage. You did make me do it. You did. You told me to go thrifting every day, give you a video every day. Certainly did. Okay, here we go with another red. This one's B-I-A-Q-U-E, B-I-A-Q-U-E. Argentina, I'm sorry, B-L-A-Q-U-E. It's a beauty. I'm thinking it's real leather. I don't know anything about the brand. Not sure if I want to look it up. I know that sounds horrible. This is Kohan, look at this. Beautiful pebble leather Kohan. Look at this one. This is another new one for me. I don't know if it's leather or not. It doesn't say on the inside. I'm gonna show you the designer. There's the designer. What do y'all know? Manichi, what do y'all know about that designer? Ten, oh my gosh, okay ladies, look at this. So this is a brand that I've purchased in the past. Tenyanello, look how pretty this is. This is that Oxford, I call it Ox, Ox, oh gosh, Oxblood red. It's that deep burgundy. And these are leather, and this is a beautiful bag. There's a little bit of issue right there on the strap. I wish that were not there. But this is a gorgeous bag. 
I'm gonna zoom in, let y'all see that up close. Somebody's gonna be disappointed if I don't get this one. I don't think I am getting it. But look. Now that's a beautiful Tinianello bag. Look at this. Credit card slots right there. The interior's great condition. Beautiful bag, passing on it though. Reason I'm passing on it is because of the little bit of issue with the strap. I just don't want, you know, I try to get them as great condition as possible as I can find them. So, since that's got a little bit of issue there, we're not going to deal with it. We're not dealing with issues today. We're not dealing with issues. Some of them have issues, some of them we'll deal with. Just can't deal with everybody's issues. What is this? A little doony, a little doony. A little doony, look at you. You're looking all fancy up in here. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Pretty yellow, green. I don't know if this can be cleaned up or not. It's beautiful though. Probably goes for a lot online. I don't want to deal with cleaning it. I know. I know. It's okay. As we say, we can't have it all and we can't win it all, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Or am I missing something? We're still looking, though. Well, that's cute. What brand is this? Nawo. Oh, B. Mikowski. Pretty pink. Need some cleaning. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be. We haven't even looked at jewelry. I may not get to make it to the other one. That's okay. It's this one. Sensing this is something special, maybe. Idian Anye. Idian Anye. A little scratched up. Calvin Klein. <laughs> This is cute. I don't know if it's real leather. Is this real leather? Look at that gold hardware there. I don't know. We just might have run into another treasure. Little J. Crew. Now that's a cutie. And this babe's brand new with tags. Don't know what the retail value was. And the body is 100% leather, ladies. 100% leather. Can I say that again? 100% leather. And you look at this. Gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. Look at that. And I bet I don't even have to tell you what's going to happen to this. This is going home with CJ. J. Crew. Cowhide leather. So leather. And then you've also got the real fur here. Not leopard fur. And look at this gorgeous hardware. My favorite. Did I already say that this is my favorite purse store? Y'all say only multiple times. Okay, this is Forenzi. Y'all have seen this at, um, I've never bought one of these, but I may be buying this one. You see these at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure where else they sell them. Not which department store. These are real leather. They are made in Italy. If you ever see one of these, pack it up for sure. And pack fast. I'm gonna zoom in on it. So this is made in Italy. And again, you find them in TJ Maxx. I don't know where else they sell them, so if you do know, comment below which department stores actually sell this brand. The inside is perfect condition. In the basket it goes. Oh my goodness, I've got a dilemma. What is it? Well, let me tell you what it is. My Jeep's full. 
My Jeep is full. I need to sell more purses. Okay, well this one seems to be leather. A little bit of rub here on the bottom. Sometimes we can ignore that rub depending on the brand. What brand is this? And again, we can ignore a little bit of the rub sometimes depending on what the brand is. There's a little bit of cracking here at the top. Let's see what this is. Shiralea. So that's a good brand. But since it's the condition, I'm not going to get it, but it's still a good brand. So if y'all ever find Shiralea, Shiralea, however it's pronounced, grab it. Michael Kors, we are going to pass on that. I know I get in trouble all the time for passing on Michael Kors. To me, they're kind of flooding the market. They're still great purses, but I think it's kind of like Coach. I love Coach, too, and I will pack it up. But, you know, it floods the market, but still, just don't know. Love my leopard print. That's one of my favorite prints of a purse is leopard. Note that because there's never, a, you never know when we're going to have a drawing based on a question of what is my favorite print for a purse. Cole Hahn. <laughs> What's this beauty? What is this? This is leather. What is it? And a Republic. It's a Banana Republic. Ooh. Why do they keep making it difficult? I mean, look at this. Coach. Look at this cute coach. Why? This will be a time stamp frenzy. Time stamp frenzy. Let's look at the inside and see what that condition is. Condition of the inside right there. Look at that. Gorgeous is what it is. What's the condition of the inside, ladies? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That's what that is. I, well, what is this one? Leather, leather, leather. Please be leather. And name brand. And it's not. But you saw that coach hitting right back there. Gianni Bernini. Yep, another Michael Kors. We are passing on it. Did I? That's not real leather. This looks like suede. There's the brand. New to me. Never heard of it. A denim purse. That's cute. Rosetti. There she is. I knew she was somewhere. I knew she'd be hiding out somewhere. She always has to come out and say hello. I say hello. Hello. Don't disturb me right now. Moda Lux. Now, Moda Lux is a good brand also. I've seen that. I don't think I've ever bought... Well, I have bought one before. Let's look at this one together, y'all. This is a backpack. So Moda Lux runs pretty expensive because this one is it's like a rose gold color. A little bit of staining right there that should be able to be cleaned. Let's look at the inside. I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. Oh, we'll think about it. Stylish. Stylish. Interior's not that great. Okay. Oh. This is a beautiful older Marc Jacobs purse. Look at that. So what do y'all think about this one? This is older. This reminds me of the video of 45 purses in 30 minutes or something like that from Frisco, Texas. So while I like this one, there's a little bit too much staining on the inside. Too much staining on the inside of that one for me. Genuine leather, it says genuine leather. Michael Kors. 
an older Michael Kors, I guess. A lot of issues with that leather. I can't wait to see the Louis Vuittons up front. It's Banana Republic. some fake leather if I've ever seen it. Be interesting to see the brand on that, but I'm not messing with it. Uh-oh. Talbots. You know what I was thinking. I was thinking coach. I know. I was. I was fooled. It's kind of like that Michael Kors the other day. It was called Mary King. Remember that that I showed y'all during that live sale? Yep. That's right. This is okay. Never heard of this before. Look at this. I don't see a tag to tell me if this is actually leather or not. I would hope it's leather, but I don't know. What is that? Is that dirt on the side? The interior condition looks good, it has a key. Silver hardware, it's dirty. I don't know if this is dirt or a rub. What is this? <laughs> SVS. SVS. Wild goose chase. It's a big old toad. So that's my cores. Pebbled. What is this one? Tenyanello. This is real snake skin. You can tell by the feel. So real snake skin, you can tell by the feel of it. Not sure what these little things are. They're reflectors, it looks like. I don't know what kind of material that is. Ribbon, maybe mother of pearl. Look at the snake skin leather. This looks like an old bag. Gorgeous. The interior is nice, and here's the brand. Here's the brand. We are getting it. We are getting that snakeskin bag, no questions asked. No questions asked. This right here I saw. I think I saw this before. It looks like suede. I don't know if I've seen this before or not. Do y'all know any about Zara Woman? Z-A-R-A. -A. It's a pretty bag. Rosetti is fancy. Michael Kors. Now this is a cute one right here, y'all. Is this beauty? I'm gonna check it out and see. Oh, Kate Spade. Pretty on the inside. Pretty Kate Spade. M M. Snatching and grabbing. Snatching and grabbing. This point. Uh -uh, I don't even know. This one's called Easy Spirit. What is this one back here? Another coach. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you gotta be kidding. It's a huge coach tote. 
Don't think it is. Pretty tag though. We love that name. This is one I've kind of been waiting for right here. Dolce Vita. What is this one? This looks beautiful. So this is a beautiful bag. This is Clark's, like the shoes. A little bit of issues. Skipping on it for that reason, but still pretty. What is this? Is this vintage? Vintage. Oh, wow. Tiger Eye. Look at that. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me show you this beauty. You know what's going to happen with this beauty right here? Since we do sell jewelry and I sell some Tiger Eye, this is probably old and fancy. So I'm going to show you up close. See if that feels like real snake skin. I'm not sure about that. I love this one. So I will need y'all's help on this one. Look at all this tiger eye right there in the top. And it is designer signed on the inside. Look at that beautiful tiger eye. There's the interior and I'm gonna show you the designer tags. That's on one side of the purse, Finesse La Model. That's on one side of the purse, and I'm gonna show you the tag next. And y'all comment below and help me out. Let me, let's figure out together what this is, what year, what the value may be, things like that. So that is the designer tag right there. So beautiful piece has tiger eye all in it. 1950s maybe? We still have all these to go right here. Look at this Michael Kors. Here's the back of it. Beautiful Michael Kors. This part could be polished, but that's okay. Not a big deal. No rubs on the outside. Suede when you open it up. Let's see what the inside looks like. Somebody had still stuff with paper. This store's really good about doing that. A little bit of, so there's not any stains on it. No stains, so probably whoever owned it stuffed it. The store will stuff them if they've got them sitting up on the cabinets in between or on the cabinets, shelf tops, or whatever you call it. So yeah, good condition on the inside. We may get that one, we'll comp it. We'll comp it just a bit. And y'all have heard of Perlina, P-E-R-L-I-N-A. Look at this beautiful Perlina purse. Now Perlina can run expensive, made in Italy, Italian leather, at least an Italian brand. We're going to comp this one too before we decide if we're going to get it or not. Interior looks to be in good condition. It's a cute handbag. So that's the Perlina. What else we have for you here? This right here, I didn't check to see what it is. It looks like it's leather. Look at the strap. Braided black leather. So getting this one for sure antique craft and y'all have heard of that before these are very good brands usually pretty expensive so that's antique craft so we're getting that one the inside of it's good condition it should be real leather let's see it is oh my goodness is it or not oh it's polyurethane well that's interesting this one is not real leather but still antique craft if you look it up they are a great brand so I was full, but still pretty. So this is antique craft. Here's the front of it. So we're still gonna get that, even though it's not real leather. We have another Francesco Biagio. Look at that. Inside is clean, it's leather. And here's what it looks like, look at that. Beautiful bag, we're getting it. Love it. This trip is insane. I think this is the most insane purse buying I've ever done. Dallas was a big one one time. Bought lots of purses. I think the title of that video, it's been probably six months to a year ago, and it was called 47 Purses in 34 Minutes or something like that. But I think this is probably the most insane haul. Another coach, just really dirty.
still got to look. Oh gosh, I knew it. She fooled me again. Look at this Rosetti. Rosetti, Rosetti. Girl, where you been? She said, hiding. Hiding. Sack roots. That's pretty. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. That's a really good condition. I bought it a couple of times. Just a couple. We still haven't looked at those Louis Vuittons, so don't leave me yet. We still have the Louis up behind the jewelry counter and the jewelry. Express. Step back. Look like a hawk. I'll look at some trinkets back here at the back while we're back here instead of walking back to the back again. I'm just gonna look now, maximize our time, try to. Try to, this is a fancy leather. What is this, Liz Claiborne? I said fancy, oh my gosh, I said fancy. <laughs> Take it back. Koltov collection. Kinda look at the handles. I look at the handles and then see if I want to dig further. It's kind of the secret, at least my secret to it. And look at all this Vera Bradley. Nope. Mm, it's nice. It's not resellable for me. I've got some I need to resell, but it's not resellable for me. So what do we have here? We're gonna look at knick-knacky, what naughty do daddy things. Since we're here, I have tons of these. I need to get rid of. So y'all look at this basket so far. What do y'all think about that? Is that insane or what? Go ahead and comment below, knock it out. Never know when a perfume bottle might be hiding back here in the glassware. Very cute copper platter. Let's see on there. Copper craft. Copper craft. See all the choices. Choices, 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 choices. I'll zoom in on something if I want to take a closer look at it. Love pottery, don't sell it. I like looking at it. Yeah, we may not be making it to the other one, that's okay. We can go to it another day. I'll see, see. Look at this, I don't have one of these at the Airbnb. Look at that. $5.99, how cute is that? That would be adorable out there. Brown Dragon Mug with Strainer. How cool is that? Okay, that's a coffee mug, a brown coffee. Let's zoom in on that. So look, so it says brown mug with strainer. Maybe it's for tea, maybe it's for coffee, I don't know. It's great condition, beautiful artwork on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like. I may get. And I know I preach about this a lot, but I love buying the platters from the thrift store. You just pay so much less, get such great things. And look at this, $3 for this. I mean, why would you buy new when you can go shopping here? So happy March 1st. Glad y'all are spending it with me. Love having y'all here. Thanks for coming to the sales. We get a lot of new people in all the time, and I'm very appreciative of that. I love our new folk. Is this lapis? I'm probably going to wish I picked this up, or as we say, pecked it up. 
It's made in India, though, and that's okay. I just, you know, I could sell it. And I'm not sure if that's lapis on there or if it's just regular, like a quartz rock. I am not sure on that piece. We're going to leave it. And it probably could sell. It's heavy, but that looks like maybe a gemstone. not sure. Have you ever seen a pie server with this kind of handle here? Very heavy and decorative. Never seen one that decorated before. It's only, what, $2? Found it right here. Caught my eye on that beautiful handle. I have lots of silverware. If you're looking at to resell toys, this place has tons. They also have tons of games. We're about to look at the jewelry, but what I'm gonna do real quick is run back down here where I cleared out the purses on the counter and see if they might have put any more up. I mean, you could literally spend all day in here. Is this old? What is this? I wish I had like an initial or something on it. I don't know what that is. These are always cute. And they did put some more up here too. Look at this, a Spartan. So we got that bigger bag. Spartina, I'm sorry. Great condition on that one. This is showing you what they might have put up here. Still not sure if I should be passing on this one or not. I mean, it's just great condition. The inside's got some staining. Not seeing anything new up here. Maybe this one here. Check it out. Is this a Dooney? It looks like a Dooney. Maybe not. What is it? M MZ Wallace. Have y'all ever heard of the MZ Wallace? I have not, but we're gonna check it out. Mm, great condition on the inside. Here's the tag. I don't know if it's leather or not. The lining is great. I'll show you that tag up close. The lining is great on it, but again, this is brand new to me. I've never heard of this brand. It also comes with a wallet on the inside. I'm gonna go tote it around. We're gonna research it and see. Well, it looks expensive. I don't know if it is or not. I definitely could be deceived. Been deceived before. Here's the tag on the bottom too. We're gonna carry that around for a minute or two. Check it out. Look how pretty that is. A little fossil purse right there. Look at that. Looking at the wallets now. This is a fun trip, y'all. Definitely bring cash and energy. Cash and energy. If this fossil's worth getting or not, it's awful cute. We're gonna check it out. I see. I see. I make a decision. I can make a decision. I know how to make a decision. Pouchy. Dooney. Dooney, Dooney, Dooney. Wallet, wallet, wallet. This is a beautiful Dooney wallet. We're gonna comp that and see if we get it. Don't know if we will or not, we'll see. We will see, we we'll still have to get to the jewelry. Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Fashion Express. See all that jewelry over there and right here. And then look up here. Gonna have some Louis Vuittons and name brand Fancy. Name brand Fancy. I have to just go red, white, and blue. The other red, white, and blue tomorrow. Can't believe today's already Wednesday. Auction is Friday. If y'all have not been to that auction on Fridays, it's actually called Scooters, and it is in Seminole. I think the address might be Largo or Seminole, Florida. But if y'all want to go there, competition's always good. 
Um, and they are a great family. They have a great auction. But it's Scooters in Seminole or Largo. Come on out there. Starts on Fridays at 6 o'clock. You do have to register with them when you get there. Been to an auction before you do. You know how it works. Scooters, Largo, Seminole. It's one or the other, but you'll find it. S-C-O-O-T-E-R-S. -O -O scooters, scooters, scooters. Come on out and see us. We'll be there on Friday. This is a different bracelet. I swear we find the coolest stuff. Look at this bracelet made out of military buttons. We are getting that for sure. That is too awesome to leave behind. That's beautiful also. Look how pretty that is. Handcrafted too, so we might as well pack that one up. We're looking for anything unusual, ladies. Unusual, unusual. Ooh, look at that. Butterflies. That's a pretty bracelet. Look at that. It's a pretty bracelet. This one is too. This copper. I saw that last time I was in. I passed on it. I'm going to pass on it again. I love my coin bracelets. This unfortunately doesn't have a price on it, but I'm gonna get them to price it for me if they can. Some stores won't price it for you if it's not priced, but I don't have a clue. So we're gonna check that one out. Gorgeous. I said it, she's gorgeous. Cute little keychain. Do y'all love your keychains as much as I do? I love the old vintage looking keychains. Look at that. A little train there. I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. I thought at first these were real gemstones. I don't think so, but I was going to get them if they were, but they're not. Wish those weren't missing any stones. Dag gum. Have you ever seen a coach keychain? So a coach turn lock keychain. Look at that. I have not, but I think I'm going to get that one. That's cool. Oh, that's cool right there. Look at this one. So I bought this brand of purse before. This is a Chala keychain, and we are getting it has a zipper pocket on the back that's awesome that's a funny keychain right there this is a cloisonne what is this one sorry so a different kind of keychain here ceramic pretty tall I like that, so we're going to get that one too. I think I'm going to go ahead and just get this one. This one says Raiders 2008. Before we look at the jewelry in the jewelry case, we're going to look here on the wall. Won't show you each and every piece. We're gonna go through it. Ooh, this is parte. Look at this one. Little owl hidden behind there. These are fun, fun to look through because you don't know what they're gonna put over here versus in the case. And there's always so much. Summoning, what brand is that? Have y'all ever heard of that before? That's a beautiful necklace. I don't know the brand. Can't wait to show you the Louis Vuittons behind the counter. We're gonna take a look at those. We're gonna have to get somebody in management to come over.
I know if you're shopping with me, this is what we do right here because it gets really thick in here with jewelry. Kind of liking this one right here, but I'm not sure. So up in the up in the air on this necklace here, this is super busy. Well, it's not too busy, but just I'm not sure how well it would hang. So we're going to pass on that one. I like it, but I don't want to buy it and sell it if it's something you ladies would not want. But I think sometimes when they're too tangly or if they're like three strands and they don't sit right and things like that, I just pass on them. So here's a perfume bottle, but I'm not gonna get that one, it's Avon. I like the perfume bottles that aren't actually always designer marked. Like the crystal ones, they're just crystal, I like those. But still, you still gotta look, cause you don't know. Look at this cutie. Avon Ming Cat Bird of Paradise Cologne. That's cute too. We're not gonna go all, all over blah, 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 all the watches because they have lots of them. But just want you to see that they've got lots of watches. We're gonna take a look at the jewelry. Look at this brooch there. Oh, I love this one right here. Look at this. That's the kind of brooches I like, is those unusual brooches. Love that. Let's see if I can remember to pack that one up. Like that one. Ooh, look at this one. I think they sold that fancy watch maybe. There was a watch in here, it was three thousand uh five to six thousand dollars. Now this is a pretty necklace right here. Look at that. Looks like mystic topaz with some pearls. And then they're gonna have tons of sunglasses, just so y'all know if that's your thing. Tons of sunglasses. And lots of rings. We're looking for anything special. They did not sell that fancy watch yet. And this is their gold stash. Gold stash. All gold. And the prices reflect that for sure. Isn't that beautiful? That's $319. Amazing what people get rid of. Or their families. Probably a real diamond watch. Luxury items here for sure at this store. Luxury, luxury. This is what I'm talking about. There's tons. We're gonna take a look at these Louis too. To see if they might be real or not. I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to tell if they are up close, but we're gonna take a look at them anyway. I like that backpack. I don't care if it's real or fake, I would carry that. And then we got some Doonies. Another Louie right there. We're gonna check those out real quick. I'm not sure what that green one is right there in the center. So we're not gonna look at all of these, but we're gonna look at a couple of them. I forgot, sorry. That's cute. Why do you look this one? This is real fake. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's good condition. Oops. Okay. 
not real either. Okay, y'all, that's a wrap. So watch this video tonight. It's going to go up tonight. And this was an awesome trip and tons of stuff. So subscribe, like, share. Hit a thumbs up for this video. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. We'll see y'all later at the next sale. Next video, bye. Red, white, and blue.